Welcome to How to Have Fun Cruising with Aliche and Tommy T. And boy, oh boy, do we got a great video for you today. That's right, the Zandam Top of the Ship Tour, our special series here on How to Have Fun Cruising. That's right, we're going to show you the top of the ship. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and also check out our Facebook, Instagram, and website, How to Have Fun Cruising. That's right, today we've got a special video for you. The top floors of the Zandam, and we love this ship. How much did we love it, Aliche? Oh, so much. It's such a great ship. And how do you say ship in Italian? Nave. 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 Okay, that's not too bad. We can learn that one. So, nave is the Italian word for ship. But we loved this cruise ship, and we had a great all the way from Montreal to Boston trip that we absolutely loved. If you're new to our channel, How to Have Fun Cruising, check it out. We got all kinds of great videos like the Bermuda Triangle. We've got, you know, the best places to eat on a lot of these ships like the Mardi Gras. Great shore excursions like the Cave Tour in Bermuda or other top of the ship tours like the Norwegian Pearl. But today, that's right, it's all about the Zan Dam. And boy, oh boy, was this a great trip. We really enjoyed it going all the way down the St. Lawrence Seaway and we got to see all kinds of great stuff. And best of all, you're going to get to see the top floors of this ship. If you're interested in seeing the full walkthrough, definitely check out our other sister channel, How to Have Fun Outdoors. That's right. A little bit about the ship now. It is a pretty awesome vessel. That's right. Uh, it's owned and operated by Holland America, as you know. And it's named after the city of Zandam, Netherlands, near Amsterdam. She was built uh, by an Italian manufacturer back in 2000. And Zandam is part of the Rotting, uh, Rotterdam class of sister ships. Uh, so you've got the Rotterdam, Amsterdam, etc. cetera. Uh, the ship was designed, uh, denied access to Panama Canal and then to Fort Lauderdale after the outbreak of COVID-19 in the early uh, 2020 uh, pandemic. Four passengers and crew died of COVID during that voyage. So it has quite a bit of history. Overall, uh, we're talking about 61,396 gross tons, so it's not a super large cruise ship. The length on that is 237 meters or 778 feet. Uh, the beam is 105 uh, feet or 32 meters. And uh, overall, there's 10 decks to it, and uh, she's powered by two diesel electric uh, engines, and she can get up to 23 knots or 40, 43 kilometers per hour or 26 miles per hour. So overall, let's get started with this walkthrough, and we're gonna start from the top of the ship and walk you all the way down. Okay, let's get started on the ninth floor. That's right, the sports suite and state rooms. As you can see, it starts with the crow's nest all the way back to the sports areas. But how about the crow's nest? We had a lot of fun up there and we had our favorite way to check them out. As you can see, we had a lot of fun, a lot of dancing, and it's not Royal Caribbean or Carnival. We don't want to give you that impression, but it is a great group of people, and we got up there and had fun. The drinks are phenomenal. They've got all kinds of great drinks, and uh, you uh, are going to love the bar up there for sure. But let's move uh, out of the bar, out of the crow's nest, and take a look at this. This is actually a 10th floor overview down to that ninth floor walk to the back to the sports area at the back of the boat and uh, this is beautiful up there especially on this Canadian cruise you got to see everything so here you go back you can see you've got a nice basketball court and uh, for sure that was awesome and how about soccer <laughs> and you can see we were having a lot of fun there also there great shot 
Had a great time on this pickleball court, and wow, is that a fun game. If you're not familiar with it, it's basically an indoor-outdoor racket paddle sport. And uh, believe it or not, the net is a lot lower, and it was invented back in Washington, the state of Washington, USA, in 65. In 2022, it was adopted as the official state sport of Washington. All right, let's keep going down. That's right, we're heading down to the ninth floor, and there's so much cool stuff, and we're going to start at the back. And as you can see here, you've got the pool area, lots of fun. And uh, this was the uh, disembarkation from Montreal, and we had a great time out there dancing, drinks, uh, you name it. It was beautiful, gorgeous day. And as you can see, plenty of places to uh, view off the boat. This is one of the things we really liked about the top of the ship, if you will, with the Zandam. Uh, this uh, is not crowded. Plenty of duck deck area to, uh, you know, park yourself. There's plenty of seats, chairs. Uh, the pool is fantastic, and uh, the people were just super friendly. What we found with the Zandam is just a great group of people. Uh, overall, we really enjoyed um, the crowd. A little bit older than what you're going to see on Carnival and uh, Royal Caribbean, but a really great group of people. Uh, and then from there, how about, that's right, the Lido deck. Tons of food. You're going to love eating here. Uh, and the quality of the food is very good. I exactly what you would expect from Holland America and the Zandam delivered for sure. Great chow. Um, good variety. They changed it up every single day which was a surprise for me. There was always something new on the menu and uh, everything was fantastic. The breakfasts were great. As you can see here, you got the chicken sausage, pork sausage, turkey bacon, regular bacon, uh, anything that you could think of. They had the fruit, uh, you name it. So much of what we're all used to on cruise ships and what we love about cruise ships uh, is all the great chow uh, when you get on there. But you can see here, uh, it was a great breakfast and let's see what Tommy T says right, about the are on the Zandam for breakfast and as you guys know the food has been great so far so we got a little French toast have to see how well they make that up here in Montreal very good how about the omelet big fluffy made to order omelet we enjoyed was the desserts were fantastic on the cruise ship and all the windows and on this Canadian cruise you could just look out the window and check out the ships and uh, it was fantastic so the Zandam has a couple of upscale restaurants where you can pay more and eat uh, some fancy food and we'll start with the first one Italian huh Liche what yeah. do you think welcome to Canaletto all right very good the Canaletto is in the center of the ship, uh, and we're going to keep going forward out to the Lido Pool and Lido Bar, and this is a great area. But one final look at the Italian restaurant you see here. Really nice, lots of windows. Um, a little bit weird because it's next to the Lido Market, but overall uh, some good Italian chow. So we're going to walk out to the pool now, and as you can see, this is a great area. No question about it. Uh, we loved it out here, really nice pool, um, and uh, plenty of places to uh, get drinks and also uh, hang out. No issue whatsoever with getting a, a lounger, a chair, uh, eating out there. It was all great. You can bring your chow out from the Lido Market uh, like we did there with all the seafood and sushi. Uh, but you can see beautiful pool. The top opens and closes depending if it's raining and they can shut her down. Nice jacuzzis, never crowded. Uh, the Lido bar was fantastic. Lots of great drinks. Uh, so you could take your pick. And uh, in addition to that, they also had this little dive in uh, place where you could get, uh, you know, hot dogs, hamburgers, those kind of things. But everybody was having some fun out there. Beautiful sculpture, beautiful design on this ship. No question about it. The Zandam is a classy ship uh, overall. So smaller ship, not a giant ship. Uh, but, uh, you know, we enjoyed it. We like some of these smaller ships. And you get to know everyone. And like I said, the dive-in 
uh, right here is right next to the pool so all your chows there and here's a glimpse of what's on the menu for everyone back home uh, looking to go on this ship uh, you'll be happy with that bathrooms right next to the pool super cool and all kinds of you know cool things like ping pong and other uh, activities uh, out there these guys are having a great time really enjoying it and uh, overall we had a lot of fun okay how about the spa here we go the greenhouse spa and saloon that's right folks what a spa this thing was similar to the size that you would find on a huge ship they had everything and we really enjoyed it there of course you can get your hair done your nails done your feet done pedicures you know you name it they've got it and uh, really nice selection of stuff here great products on the Zandam and everybody that worked in the spa was fantastic. Uh, we really, really love the people, and you're gonna get to meet a couple right now. What are you now. doing, Alice? What? I'm gonna get us a raffle. We are gonna win the $500 of three twins. Ah, very good. This lady's gonna pick us up. Yeah. <laughs> We loved all the Zandam uh, people that worked on the ship. I, they do a great job of training their employees uh, because we had an excellent experience. Everybody was very customer service orientated, uh, friendly, nice, and uh, we really enjoyed the staff. A really great group of people. And uh, here you can see we got a full tour of the spa. Very cool. And then wow. over here we have our female's locker area. The changing rooms, bathrooms, the lockers were just fantastic. This ship was designed around the spa. Um, again, we were very impressed and as you can see here, beautiful saunas and jacuzzis and uh, uh, the thermal suite was fantastic. We'll show you that in a minute. But overall, uh, they had uh, all the rooms had big windows so you could see out, uh, and we really enjoyed it. We had a great time uh, taking advantage of this spa, and Aliche, uh, like I said, loved the people. All right, right here. Hey, give me a thumbs up. No. Hey. For all the Aliche fans, I tried the thumbs up technique, but it just didn't work. Uh, but in any case, we had a great time in the spa. Lots of fun, cool treatments, uh, some new treatments actually compared to what we saw in some of the other cruise ships. And how about this thermal spa? To our VIP lounge. Wow, area. I like the this. You're more than welcome to have a seat and lay down if you'd like to. Look at yeah. this. Yeah, these are our heated lounges. Our favorite part of the ship and uh, we got the full week pass here which I think is probably the best deal you can get. You even have your own private balcony. Aliche had a lot of fun in the jacuzzi and what's really cool about this is the hours. This thing goes till 10 o'clock at night so you get your own little private suite. Every night we were in there nobody was in there. It was fantastic and we really enjoyed it. Hours in the clean room were fantastic. How about the steam room? Really, really awesome. Everybody was excited about this, but let's take a look at the rest of this area. And wow, look at all the dead weights uh, in this exercise area. Like I said, and I'm sure I've repeated it too many times, this was the size that you would see, if not bigger, on some of these big ships. And uh, this ship's half the size of some of the ships we've been on recently. So they did a great job. If you love spa, if you love working out, if you love all the treatments, this is the ship for you. Uh, it is designed to take care of that element of your crew. So we had a great time there. And as you can see, lots and lots of equipment and uh, windows. You could see out from all sides. Really, really nice. So we hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, again, check out our full walkthrough and tour over on our sister channel, How to Have Fun Outdoors. 
you get to see the rest of the Zandam, the entire ship. That's a much longer video, but we go through the casino and all the restaurants and all the different activities on the ship. And boy, oh boy, we had a great time on the Zandam. We really enjoyed it. And Aliche found her favorite little steakhouse. We're going to show you that also. The theater, uh, all of the different shopping locations, and some of the cool things we actually encountered on the cruise ship. So once again, check out our sister channel, How to Have Fun Outdoors. All right, Aliche. Thank you everyone for watching this video. The Gundam Holland cruise ship is fantastic and I hope you guys love it such a small ship but really really nice so please don't forget to subscribe smash the like button and thank you so much for watching how to have fun cruising, cruising.